So my son Seamus was born on March 1st, 2009. He was born approximately three months early. We had an amazing experience. From the minute you walk into the building, you don't know where anything is. You have no idea what's going on. You're overwhelmed, your child is sick. Um, and we had the nicest staff, the nicest nurses that took us under their wing. I would tell you that the physicians and the nurses and the staff that take care of the children here, they truly um, love their job and they truly love the children and the families here. Not only are the staff taking care of the babies, but they're also taking care of the families. After Seamus passed, I remember talking to the staff and saying goodbye to them. And I said to them, I will be back. I don't know in what capacity, but I will be back and I will be giving back in my son's name. You know, your biggest fear is that they're gonna forget your child's name. You're gonna, they're gonna forget that that child existed. And for me, for whatever reason, that was very heavy on my heart. So we do the Shoot for Seamus event. It's every year. It's on April 23rd, um, the day that my son Seamus passed away. The idea of the date kind of came from what else do you do on that day? How do you, um, how do you go about your day on a day that, that is so bittersweet? And the photographers go in, take pictures of the baby, whether they're dressed up or in the ISIL lead or bundled in a blanket, whatever's best for the baby. And the, fam the photographers take pictures of those kids with or even with the parents. Some of the parents are able to hold them. And so we, they do that as well. One year there was triplets that were taken that we were able to, to capture pictures of. And um, lo and behold, a couple weeks later, one of the triplets didn't make it. But they had pictures, beautiful pictures, professional pictures of all three of them that they are going to treasure forever. I'm Sharon, and I am a guardian of childhood.